So I'm super excited to share with you a technique that uses lots and lots of layering. So one of the problems that I have as a crafter is that I tend to cover things up a lot, but frisket is a great material that can save you from your desire to cover absolutely everything up. So if you look at my finished sample here, what you'll see is there's lots of glorious white, not to mention these huge leaf shapes showing really clearly. So let me show you how we're gonna get this look. So the first thing is I'm gonna work with a nice sturdy paper. And then I'm gonna take some liquid frisket, and now this is just what it sounds like. It's a material that sort of looks like glue or rubber cement or something. And I'm gonna take my uh, frisket application tool which I've been soaking in some water. And I'm simply going to dip it, even though it's wet, right into the frisket, okay? Now this is like glue, which is why we need to keep this tip nice and wet. And then I can do dots, I can do lines, I can go ahead, I can draw things with it, I could write things with it, I could do anything that I want. Remembering the only thing is that anywhere that I draw with this frisket, once it dries, that area is gonna remain white or whatever the color is of the paper that I'm using underneath. So basically I'm protecting certain areas. And obviously you can see that this tool has a small nib and a large nib. So if you wanted to draw fatter lines, you could do that with the other side of the nib. So once I finish drawing, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in water right away, because again, it's glue. So I'm just gonna drop that in there. And now I'm gonna let this dry. So I have one here, which is already dry. And you can see that as it dries, it has turned kind of yellow or amber colored and I can touch it and obviously nothing comes off. So the next thing is I have some stamps and I'm just gonna go ahead and ink them up. Now I love using stamps of all kinds. I, I do not discriminate against any kind of stamps. I absolutely love them. So here I'm just using some rubber stamps that are wood mounted and you can go ahead and stamp it and I'm, uh, it doesn't have to be straight, doesn't have to be perfect, anything like that, but you do wanna use a permanent waterproof ink. That's the only thing that's really important. I also have a hand carved stamp here which I'm gonna use, and I'm using lots of nice colored ink. And the reason is, well, I believe in using all the colors because they're super fun to use. So I'm just gonna keep stamping and being imperfect and just doing whatever I feel like. And even if I, let's say I mess up a lot, oops, my stamped image didn't turn out quite the way I wanted. Well, it doesn't matter at all because this is all gonna get covered up. And this is one of the things that I love about layering. So the next thing after I've stamped is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm I'm gonna grab my watercolors. Now I've activated these watercolors simply by going ahead and spraying them with some water. And then I'm gonna take a brush that's nice and wet and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna to start to cover this whole thing with watercolor. Sometimes I don't even clean my brush between watercolor applications because you know what? I think a little bit of mix and match is a fun look. So I'm just gonna keep going in there. I try to keep my colors relatively harmonious. You can see everything I'm using here is kind of a warm color. Um, and if you start to go into colors that are maybe on the opposite side of the color wheel or something like that, it can get a little muddy. But again, there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, let's throw some blue in there just to see what will happen. You know, the thing is, whenever you're curious about what will happen, what's the positive, what's the negative of a choice, just do it and see what happens. You know, and then you can even get a little crazy if you want to, and you can go ahead and load your brush with watercolor and then sort of tap, tap, tap to get lots of little spots. And you can see that those will just sort of meld in with everything that's happening. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this all dry. Now, once the watercolor has all dried, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. So the next step is I'm just gonna go ahead and take some paint pens or any pens or markers that you have and you like. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add some simple embellishments. Nothing fancy, you don't need to be able to draw or anything like that. I mean, you can literally scribble on it, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create some leaf shapes. And how we're gonna do that is we're gonna use some frisket film. Now, we used liquid frisket before, which obviously is a liquid that protects. And now this is gonna be a clear film that's gonna protect. Now, on the white side, as opposed to the clear side, I'm just gonna take a black marker and I'm gonna draw out whatever shape I'd like to. Again, you could do words, you could do anything that you like. And once I have that completely drawn out, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to cut it out. And I just used a pair of scissors to cut it out. You can see right here, I didn't even follow the lines, you guys. I just did exactly what I felt like doing. Then you can see the white side is gonna peel away 
from the clear side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to very carefully go ahead and apply it onto here. And what I do is I peel part of the backing of the frisket film off, and then I sort of keep going gently, slowly, laying down each little part. And once that's done, then I'm gonna have something that looks like this. Now it's a little bit hard to see this clear frisket film on there, but as soon as we add our watercolor, you're gonna see it come out absolutely. You can see right there, the watercolor is gonna avoid that film because again this is protecting the layers underneath so that I can go crazy and be a completely irresponsible colorist and just keep adding color and pattern and whatever else I want right on top of there and I can even add black on here I don't have to no colors are off limit it's, it's everything that I want anything that I want, just going, having fun, adding tons and tons and tons of luscious, gorgeous color. And even if it gets muddy, I know I've already protected some areas, so it's all gonna be okay. So once that is dry, you're gonna have something that looks a little bit like this. Now at this point, it's fun to go back in and you can see we're doing all the same things over and over again. I'm just adding pattern. Again, simple lines, simple shapes, nothing super complicated, scribbles, okay? And then it's time for the big reveal. And I hope you're as excited as I am. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull off that frisket film to reveal the gorgeous, pattern underneath and you can see you just grab a hold of it and yank and pull it off and once you've pulled off all of the frisket film you're going to have something that looks like this but wait there's one last fantastic step you'll recall we put down all that liquid frisket i'm going to use my frisket eraser and wowza all that beautiful white is going to come right up just like that. You can see how cool it is. And if you look at my finished piece here, you'll see it's got the beautiful leaves, the nice clear white, lots of layers, but still clear design because the frisket allowed us to do that.